excited. Oh, man, was very nearly. From Hazelmere, Super Tooth, Drum Spinner. As the director of a successful software company, business guru Gabriel Stroud has put his company on hold to achieve his dream of winning Robot Wars. And he's not leaving anything to chance. I feel this is our competition. We are harder, we're hungrier, and we're eager to win. We've decided to go all out. We've got modular format, we've got more powerful drive, more powerful weapon. Everything is just Right, what built. does module drive mean then? Modular. So yeah, mo modular, the whole, modular drive. So the whole drive. robot's modular. So there's actually, we can change the parts out now really fast. That's our thing. So you're not going to be hammering away here through the night. No, you're no, going no, to just no. swap it there's out. There's another robot under the bench. So a full <laughs> robot? There is a full <laughs> robot. Is your business still going? Oh, other people can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's, that's taken fine. care of. That's, this is the focus. This is the focus. Right. We put everything into it. I'd like to see um, us V Carbide in the final. We've got to win the series. Our first three teams head out. First battle new series, how exciting! Three, two, one, activate! Hiermoff moves in from the right hand side, immediately there to attack Sabretooth. Sabretooth with a, a new entanglement weapon in there. Donald Dunn comes in there with an attack as well. Donald Dunn with the weapon trying to create mayhem in the arena. Now dodging away, big Bearmoth comes in and it's flipped up. Oh, he lands well though. And look at that, and straight back on the attack. There's Sabretooth crunching it on Donald Dunn. You can see the Donald Dunn weapon whirring but not creating too much damage. Bearmoth with the flipper there. And Pritchard at the controls. Can be an angry man, can be a very good robot here. And at the moment, Dancing out there with Sabretooth and Donald Thump is quiet. The Dial of Doom is activated. Looking to that all Pamela. Very nearly saw Sabretooth go down into the pit there. Are they still active? Drop it down. As we come towards the end of the first battle, will it go to the judges? But this is going to be very tight. Who, who was in my bar first? I don't know. I think you should be look at it again. Yeah. Should we look at it again? I think we do because it's very, very close. There's Sabretooth flipping Fairmont using the Sremek. Very well indeed. Now here's Donald Thumb crunching in on Sabretooth. Loose an eye in the process. A great fun merchant is James at the controls. Donald Thumb designed by Doctor Doom. And as the fight went on, it became less effective. Behemoth once again self righting and causing damage there. Sabretooth this time flipped up and over. 22 kilos, no mean feat that. The weapon is okay, but it's not moving. That's a hell of a group battle. Uh, did you enjoy the group battle, did you? <laughs> Fantastic, very good. Here's something I particularly love as everyone goes in to check on their robots. Please go look at your robots. Bits of the arena are already smashing off. That was a bit of the underside. We think of the flipper, bits of things everywhere. And then this in the middle of the floor, which is Donald Trump's eye. So let's <laughs> return this vital piece of equipment. There you go. I mean, it's, it's a wonder sure. you could travel at all. Excuse sure. me. Let's step off that. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That was the first the thing that went. Was it? I didn't and then it. everything else went. I didn't notice it, ironically. Yes. How, um, why did you not put the hair on? I was a bit worried about it getting tangled. It was a last minute decision, but I was worried about it getting tangled up in it. I didn't want to lose to my own hair. Yeah, okay, I, fine. I yeah, that. that is a weird way to go. Not a problem you'd have, but. No, okay. no, not at all. Uh, wow, that, that hurt. Um, but, <laughs> good luck. Well okay. done. Very, very good on Donald Pump. But these are the big two at the end of that fight. Hello, how are you both? Hello. Right. We've looked back over it. Okay. Yeah, and we've seen how can we possibly judge who won or not. Yeah. Because you smashed into each other and it was that impact that totally totaled you both. Right. Yes. You got, okay, the winner is Behemoth. Behemoth wins that one. Congratulations. You're not out. Well done, but well done. Well done. That, that was amazing. It was a good one, wasn't it? It was a good one. One proper clap for yeah, both yeah. of you. Excellent. Yeah. Let's have more fights. Nice smiling. Their opponents are Team Sabretooth, captained by the single-minded Gabriel. Rob's driving this time. Oh. He's stepping up. Right. He's going to drive. How do you, I mean, you're kind of 
I know. You're stuck in everything. Is that hard to hand the controls over? It's terrible. I can't, yeah. I'm, uh, you know, it'll be me. There'll be a lot of, maybe some swearing and shouting at him from the back. Oh, like that. Come okay. on. The losers will be going home. Teams have to win here or the dream is over. This is their only chance for robot redemption. The house robots are... Three, two, one. As the melted speed control of Apocalypse impaired its chances. Well, no, not from the aggressive start. Talking about aggression, though. Right, come on, Rob. Come on, give it to him. Give it to him. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Look at Gabriel. He's a nice guy. The Robot Wars has created a monster in him. He's so determined. He just wants to create mayhem out there. He wants a victory at all costs. He's turned into a villain. Apocalypse very experienced out there. Chris is the oldest person in the competition at 75. 55 years of experience as an engineer. Sabretooth using their experience to dodge away from the house robots. Daho! Oh, we have Fog of War for the first time ever! Fog of War! Fog of War! Bewildering, baffling. The house robots can't see through it. I can't see through it. I've no idea what's going on. Sabretooth there. Trying to spin on oh, because they couldn't see through the fog. They couldn't see the floor flipper coming. And that's what Fog of War is all about. Is the vision clear through to a semi final? For whom, though? Sabretooth's control, though, has been very good. Whack him. Whack him. Drive into him. Hit him. But is that control work going to be let down by something sticking out of the side of the machine? Will that limit movement? And I don't think the drum is working either. But Sabretooth's in trouble here now. Will their control mechanism keep them going? But not good enough to dodge the axe as down it comes once again. Right, drive into him. Precision engineering experience on the Apocalypse team. The arms flail away. The hammer causes no damage. Good push by Sabretooth. Really good push by Sabretooth. Now, now, now just pummel him into the wall. Up to 15 miles an hour. The quake in the force. Right, come on. Now come out of there and now hit him again. Stop. No, hit him again. Stop. Go oh, and hit him. I don't care. Hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. They don't care. Oh, fire. We're good. dead, Gabe. Okay. I think Apocalypse are out and Sabretooth dead into the semi finals. Very good fight. Really good bout. Good fight, guys. Yeah, well done, guys. Well, well done. Cheers. Well done. That was a good fight, actually. Yeah, good really unfortunate for Apocalypse. Good use of the axe weapon. You can see little bits coming off Sabretooth there and then making sure that as they smash into Apocalypse, they could ride the full effect of that pneumatic axe coming down. Got caught in the fog by the flipper. Not easy to say, bouncing away. Down came the axe again on the on the tire. That could have caused real problem. For me at this moment, it's Apocalypse's fight. But as it went on, Sabretooth without the drum used pure force to slam into the wall and that immobilized Apocalypse partially. And by the end of the bout, Apocalypse were immobile. Defeat for Ed and Team Apocalypse means they're now out of the competition. Victory keeps Gabriel's master plan on track. They're through to the semi-finals. It's a winner takes all head to head with a place in the final at stake. Apollo's looking really, really strong. And obviously, he has been a previous champion. It's going to be a tough one to crack. Two, one. Remember, Apollo have had a round out. They're well rested. Sabretooth have had two big battles so far. Apollo on the attack. Big power. Getting in underneath Sabretooth and again, nearly flipping it for the second time. Driving Sabretooth into the CPZ. Sabretooth, we've seen the remarkable driving ability of Gabriel Stroud, so determined in the Sabretooth team. And look, leading Apollo, a merry dance, trying to avoid that flipper. And Apollo flipped himself, of course, self right. Three met, self riding mechanism. Oh! A miss by Apollo as they went to flip it out of the arena. Drum? I'm yeah. fine, I'm fine. Sabretooth grimly determined there. Sabretooth's fighting for his life here, isn't it? But they're up against it right now, against Apollo, even though this is the first heat emerging as one of the strong favourites for this series of Robot Wars. Robot, no! Ah. Out comes Jeff Nettles. Oh. Sabretooth is in the grip. 
Can he get away now? Such a good driver. So knowledgeable about robots, about what it takes to win in the arena. But can his machine win against the redoubtable Apollo? Oh, that's up and fly over the top of Apollo. This is a really terrific battle going on. That could be decisive. Oh, I think the drum has stopped working. The controls have gone down. That expensive drum really hasn't done the damage they thought it would be. Come here, little robot. Saber Tooth, oh, Toothless! Less showing. More stealing. They're trying to think to get to the Dawn of Doom there, Saber Tooth, but they missed it badly. Now, what can they do? Get off that flipper. Again, into reverse. Spinning away. Oh, they're out! One split second, one lapse in concentration, one Robot Wars campaign over, but not for Apollo. Waited for the moment, took the moment. Cease. Let down the guards and they just punish you. Yeah. Nice one. They're feeling very comfortable tonight. Wow, well, they're good. They're very good. <laughs> come here. Let's have a group hug. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there you can see the danger of the flipper. Sabre to pirouetting balletically once, twice. In the end, all that damage had to take its toll. Apollo did have big misses, and they'll have to work on that as the series goes on. That could have caused trouble. That did cause trouble. That, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is over and out. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> will you? Jeez. <laughs> OK. We got stuck, but we can't see around the corner and Dead Metal was doing something to us. The audience, did you like that? This robot is flawless, said Gabriel. We'll wait and see. Activate. Only one of these stays in the competition. Again, they split the swarm. Sabertooth trundles up. Can it get the drum working? Now they come. Oh, it is there, though. Up went the little machine. Try and get the swarm flipper to toss Sabretooth in the air. That's some difficult job. That was right onto the flame pit. Sabretooth measured at the moment. Again, they get the wedge shape on it. Trying to get underneath Sabretooth's ground clearance. Oh! oh! And the spikes have gone. Well, that, we've not seen that before. The spikes in the arena floor have gone. I've never seen that before. A repair job is needed. And not just for the little cluster box. This is very, very even. Sabertooth drops up into the air. Still moving. <laughs> oh, the flipper is lethal this time. Oh, yes. Take on the arena hazards at your peril. First Sabertooth and Ian Watts blender are up, up and away. A double hit for Team Swarm as the little rubber duck also sent flying as well. They're trying to use the floor spike saber to, to slam in on the swarm. A hit there from Shunt. It's very difficult to read. It's very difficult, to be honest, to know what's going on half the time. The swarm buzzing around here and there. And a big flip there Thank to self-right its teammate. Good teamwork by the swarm. Sabertooth picks on one. Picks on the least effective. That strange looking little one. Out comes Dead Metal with a great circular saw. Onto the flame pit. Oh, it's all you mean now, John. Stop. Oh, oh no! no! Why have they gone in there? Sabertooth. Why go in there? That's suicide. They're in the CPZ. They're at the mercy now. Shut down. They just got away. Whoa. They rode their luck there. Give me a nudge, I'm, I'm stuck as well. Guys. Now, only one of the swarm are moving for me. You need to knock three of the four swarm bots out. And I think Sabretooth has done that. An immobilization timer has begun. The swarm is immobile. We're dead. It's killed me. Time up. Sabretooth is the winner. The swarm are out. Good one, that was fun. Well done, that man. Well done, well done. Absolutely. Well done, well done. Well done. Good battle, that.
Goes to the judges, though. As the crowd get their wish and rubber duck goes down the pit. And the judges will be marking on control, damage and aggression. Well, there was aggression there from the swarm cluster box, the mini box, but the damage is being caused by Sabretooth. <laughs> that cluster box, that's brilliant, isn't it? Someone pressed the ejector button and up went the spikes. Never seen that before, that's hilarious. Sabretooth and the cluster box caught by the floor flipper. Sabretooth immediately active afterwards, though. Sabretooth will be. All right, uh, that was an interesting one. Can I get the two captains out here, please? Oh, hey, Can I get yeah, both yeah. of you out here now while you examine yeah. a weapon that still isn't working? No, 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 it's working. Look, look. No, it's got great Friday, Friday we had roast gun. Oh, dear. Um, it's hard to do. This did go to adjudication, by the way. Right. Even though... Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh... if, oh, and this, if it's the other way around, well, I'm going to be calling out Professor Noel Sharkey. He'll be, be down here, <laughs> oh, I know. and then I'm making him retire. The adjudication did come in, of course because they'd all stopped moving, just hadn't got yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, Sabretooth. Sabretooth is the winner well of that done. particular bout. Well done, you. Well done, Congratulations. Well done, sir. Well done, well man. So Sabretooth have earned their place in the 10-team. Last robot standing mega battle.